Okay, ready? Now left, right, step, step. Ow! What's wrong? Ouch, I stepped on. A pee? A marble, it really hurt. Maybe we should take a break. Wanna play the princess in the pee? Yeah! Cool. Crowns. Thanks, your majesty. Of course, princess, but it's way past your bedtime. I guess I need a bed. Here! Don't forget a pillow. Now, right to bed, princess. Oh, and one more thing. Good night. Dad? Dad! Yes, what is it? I can't fall asleep. But it's late. I mean, my pet bear cub. Okay. Roar! Here you go. Now close your eyes. Sure, Dad. Good night. Good night. Yes. I can't get comfortable. Will you sing to me? Okay, sure. Skittermarinky dinky dink, skittermarinky do. I love you. Skittermarinky dinky dink, skittermarinky do. I love you. I love you and. Hey! You're supposed to be relaxing. I am! Go to sleep. night. Dad? What is it now? Can you read me a bedtime story? Fine, but then you have to go to sleep. I have a kingdom to rule in the morning. Thanks, Dad! Hey, diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle. Dad, can the cat play fiddle? I don't know, dear. The cow jumped over the moon. Dad, way a cow could jump over the moon. Just listen, okay? The little dog laughed to see such fun, and the dish ran away with the spoon. That story's ridiculous! Ugh. Ugh. Dad, I still can't sleep! Hey, what's this? A pee? I couldn't fall asleep. Dad? Dad, I found a pee! Aww. Good night, Dad! Hey! And that's our story! Of the princess and the pea. The, the end. end! Hey, what should we play next? I got a big marble. I got a small marble. Guys, guess what? What is it? One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Huh? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let him go again. Why did you let him go? Because he bit my finger so. Which finger did he bite? That little finger on my right. Oh! <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let him go again. Why did you let her go? Because I bit his finger so. And which finger did you bite? That little finger on the right. There's your diamond necklace. Cool! 
what about sunglasses? You look super fancy. Thanks. What do you want to dress up as? Hmm. Ooh, I know. Want to play Country Mouse and City Mouse? Cool. Yeah. Here's my nice green meadow. Nothing but peace and quiet around here. I'm bored. And here's my big fancy city house. I need a vacation from all this excitement. I'll go visit my cousin in the country. The suitcase is perfect. I'm walking to the country. Walk, walk, walk. I'm walking to the country. Walk, walk, walk. You live far. Cousin, is that you? All the way from the big city. It's so good to see you. So, what do you do in the country? Uh, well, we could play in the grass. Okay. We could watch the stars. Uh, okay. We could look for food. Sometimes I find a nut or berries. Or we could eat what I brought. I've never seen so much food. This is nothing. The giants that live in my house leave stuff like this all over the place. Whoa. So, what do you do in the city? Well, I guess you could say we count the stars too. But in the city, there are big, shiny, flashy lights in every color of the rainbow. Whoa. Yeah, it's mostly going from one adventure to the other. The city sounds amazing. I wish I could visit you. Okay, let's go. We're walking to the city. Walk, walk, walk. We're walking to the city. Walk, walk, walk. Welcome to my mansion. Looks like the giants left quite the feast. This is awesome. We need a city cat. Oh, right. Uh... I got it. You eat. Okay. Mmm. Tasty. That's enough adventure for me, thanks. I miss the nice, quiet country. Oh, well, come visit any time. You too. And so, from then on, the country mouse was grateful for his peaceful life in the country. And the city mouse was grateful for a crazy life in the city. And, and they, they both, both lived happily ever, ever after. So, what should we dress up as next? I think I saw some pig ears back there. Cool. Roar! I'm a big scary troll. No, not scary enough. Maybe he needs crazy hair. And big ears. Trolls definitely have big ears. Ready? Roar! I'm a big scary troll. Eh, I guess you're a little scary. I think he's perfect. Let's play. Okay, so where did three Billy Goats grow? Uh, guys, don't we need a bridge? Will this work? Perfect. Awesome, but you'd better be ready. Goats, we've eaten all the grass in our meadow. And I'm so hungry. There's lots of grass over there. Oops, grass. across the river. And you know who guards the bridge? A big scary troll. Roar! I'm a big scary troll. I sure hope somebody crosses my bridge. I'm starving. Come closer, goats. I got the plan. Yes. 
nuts. Amazing. Are you sure this will work? Just stick to the plan. Be careful. Clip, clop, clip, clop, clip, clop. Raw! Who dat clip clops on my bridge? It's just me, the little belly goat. Ha! You foolish goat. Now I shall gobble you up. I'm too small to make a good dinner for a big girl like you. But don't worry, my sister will be coming soon. And she's bigger than me. Fine, little goat. I shall eat your big sister. Clip, flop, clip, flop, flip, flop. Safe! Okay, my turn. You'll do great. Clip, clop, clip, clop, clip. Raw! Who dat clip clops on my bridge? Uh, me? I'm the medium sized Billy Goat Gruff. Yo, yeah, you are much bigger than your little sister. Now I shall gobble you up. Wait, wait! If you want a really good meal, my big brother is coming and he's even bigger than me. He's huge and delicious like pepperoni pizza. Hmm. He'll be here any minute. Fine, I shall eat your big brother. Clip, clop, clip, clop, safe. Okay, here I go. Clip, clop, clip, clop. Raw! Who dat clip clops on my bridge? Hi, I'm the big Billy Goat Grump. Hmm. You are the perfect dinner for a big, scary troll like me. Well, I'm big enough to know you shouldn't go around gobbling people up. Huh? And I'm also big enough to do this. Whoa! Whoa! Yay! Yay! And from then on, the three belly goes to grass, ate all the yummy green grass they could have, and that big, scary troll never bothered them again. The end! Hey guys, want to play again? Sure. Yeah, can I be the troll? Yeah. Yes. I'm going to be the big Billy Goat Graph. I want to be a Billy Goat too. Okay. Swim closer, children. I have a story for you. Story time. <laughs> tell it, tell it. I will, I will. Okay. Once upon a time, very, very deep in the clear blue sea, there lived a little mermaid. I know this story. Maybe. But this story has been told by humans and merfolk for hundreds of years. And every time it's told, it's a little bit different. Tell it, please. <laughs> OK. So this little mermaid lived with her big sisters and her father. King Triton, ruler of the ocean. That's right. Her father ruled over all the creatures of the ocean. That is, except the wicked sea witch who was jealous of his power. Now, this little mermaid was a bright, thoughtful girl who was always asking questions about the world above the ocean. She carefully collected and studied all of the land objects that sank down to the ocean floor, like a ship's anchor, a fork, and especially a statue of a boy who had no fish tail, but instead two long legs on which to stand. At last, the Little Mermaid came of age and was allowed to rise up and explore the surface of the ocean. And there she saw an enormous ship where a human prince was celebrating his birthday as well. The Little Mermaid watched in wonder. A terrible storm struck, and the crashing waves knocked the prince from his ship. But the brave Little Mermaid battled the waves and swam with the prince to a nearby beach. Once the prince was safe on shore, the Little Mermaid sang him a song more beautiful than any human had ever heard before. But. Just as the prince was about to open his eyes, a search party of humans arrived and the little mermaid leapt back into the sea. So the prince never got to see who saved his life. That's right. But the prince was determined to find this brave young woman whose beautiful voice he would never forget. And the little mermaid who had also fallen in love with the prince was now more determined than ever to find a way to live on land. Sea Witch. <laughs> That's right. The Little Mermaid went to the Sea Witch and begged her for a way to become human. The Sea Witch agreed to give the Little Mermaid legs, but only if 
the Little Mermaid gave the witch her beautiful voice. And worse, if the prince did not return the Little Mermaid's love and ever married another, the Little Mermaid would have to return to the ocean and belong to the sea witch forever. Why would she agree to that? Well, the Little Mermaid was brave and determined, and she might not have thought through all of the bad things that could happen. Plus, she was in love. Ew. <laughs> in any case, the Little Mermaid agreed to the sea witch's deal and was given legs. And finally able to leave the ocean, the Little Mermaid was thrilled to be able to explore the wide world above. She met the prince, who thought that there was something special about this young woman. Although she could no longer speak to tell the prince that she was the one who saved his life. Still, the prince welcomed the Little Mermaid into his palace, where he was struck by her kindness, her sense of humor, and especially her interest in absolutely everything. Uh-oh. That's right. The sea witch grew worried that the prince would marry the Little Mermaid, so she used her wicked magic to give a visiting princess the Little Mermaid's voice. And upon hearing that beautiful voice, the prince thought that he had found the young woman who saved his life, and so he made plans to marry the human princess. Couldn't she write him a note or draw a picture or something? Well, the Little Mermaid did have one possibility. The Little Mermaid's sisters had gone to the sea witch and given her all of their beautiful hair in exchange for a dagger, which the Little Mermaid could use to stab the human princess and stop the wedding. But even though the Little Mermaid knew that she would have to return to the ocean and belong to the sea witch, the Little Mermaid was not hurt the human princess. On the day of the wedding, the sea witch came to claim the Little Mermaid, but the brave Little Mermaid used the magical dagger to stab the sea witch. And with that blow, the sea witch lost her power over the Little Mermaid and her voice returned. And the prince realized that it was the Little Mermaid who had saved him. And together, they battled the sea witch the sea witch was defeated. That's right. The little mermaid was able to stay human and she and the prince became wonderful rulers over their kingdom on land. But they also liked visiting her family's kingdom under the sea. And they lived happily ever after? <laughs> yes, they all lived happily ever after. <laughs> mm, that story was okay. Do you know any scarier ones? Hmm. Well, once upon a time. Mother Goose Club Playhouse!